If Dharma the clown had his way, life would be one big circus. In a place so often consumed by conflict, today's a welcome occasion for a little fun. <laughs> Part of his troupe is here to entertain crowds at a local festival in northern Israel. Do you live close to here? Dharma the Clown is otherwise known as David Berry, a Gentile or non-Jew who came to Israel from Australia 15 years ago. You don't, you don't, like, you don't like booming sounds? What are you doing in the Middle East? <laughs> Underneath the makeup, he's also the artistic director of the Israel Circus School. But the former ballet dancer has brought with him what he calls some Australian qualities. I think I've brought a sense of non prejudice with me. Don't judge people according to their skin color or their religion or their sex. I wish there were a few more anti-discrimination laws effective here in this part of the world, but um, okay, that's a political point. Um, you don't like to be political, do you? No, actually, I don't. I, I think I'd just like to touch people where they, where they really are, which is, you know, very simple. Hoping to adapt circus skills for more practical purposes to bring children of different backgrounds together, David went in search of a partner. He found one among the idyllic olive groves of the Arab village of Murar. You have to be human to listen to the others all the time. Not just only to yourself. Uh, you have to listen to the others. If you listen more than you talk, you can make peace with other people. Every year, Adnan Tarabshi's extended family comes together to harvest olives. The town produces one third of Israel's olive oil supply. And we share our food, uh, as we we share our oil afterwards also, and we divide it uh, as uh, everybody needs. Yeah, you have to know how to make balance. <laughs> Adnan Tarabshi is a Druze, an Arab minority living in Israel. <laughs> Distinct from the Palestinians, this close-knit, largely Arabic-speaking community is loyal to the Jewish state. Adnan is a theatre director and writer. Developing a circus is his way of helping a fractured society. We want to live together, we want to be safe. Both my kids and the Jewish kids. One of his prize performers and trainers is his softly spoken 14-year-old son, Bashar. The children of Marah adore their teacher. But at least one of his pupils is beyond instruction. <laughs> OK, I can do it, look. <laughs> Twice a week, the youngsters of Murar come to the nearby Israeli town of Kafar Yehoshua, where they join David Berry's Israel Circus School. It's your new uh, fashion from America. The school only moved into its permanent home a year ago. The first major step towards establishing a full-time circus school. <laughs> David and Adnan feel this electric environment can build a lasting atmosphere of coexistence. In circus, you have to touch your partner. And uh, Jewish and Arab, they can, they have to relay on each other. They don't trust each, each other, they can't perform in front of people. <laughs> They all wear jeans, they all watch MTV. And when they come together and you give them an opportunity to um, practice acrobatics or clowning or juggling or different things, um, 
they actually look at one another as kids and not as, oh, you're Jewish or you're Arab. We have a saying in the school, just kids. The idea has clearly won over the young performers. Israeli teenagers Hemda and Tom Lee have honed their skills enough to keep this audience in stitches. While they enjoy the training and the opportunity to perform in front of grateful audiences, working with Arab children has opened new horizons. But do you think there's any difference to the way they live and you live? <laughs> Uh, I, I came to our house once and, uh, and uh, they have a, a really big salon and, uh, and cushions and, and they brought all the food to the salon and we eat and uh, we sat on the floor and it is very polite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you mean compared to Israelis? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm feeling that we're, we're all like a one big happy family. And, uh, and it's very hard to, to live a week without uh, seeing them. Bashar feels the same way. What did you think of them when you first met them, when you just heard, oh, you're going to be performing with Jewish kids? Were you worried about that? Yes. And what happened? Uh, Adnan Tarabshi now works on acting skills to take the young performers to the next level of professionalism. Though the circus school may be a work in progress, it's already having a profound effect on the way its young students feel about the ongoing conflict. I always thought different about the fighting because I don't understand it. Like everybody is just people. And you, I don't understand why do you have to fight in, instead of being friends, and why can't you live at the same place and uh, share the same land? Yeah. <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> 